And welcome back, everyone. Thanks, Teresa, for telling us all about your podcast. And just so you know that Teresa will be my special guest on February the 23rd. So now that we've talked about stepping away from your writing and doing a bit of self-care, I'm going to give you guys some writing challenges to help you get unstuck in your writing. The first writing challenge is to write a short piece in dialogue only. So for example, you can take a scene from one of your characters and write that scene just in dialogue only and then add all your narrative and description and everything later or you can do a whole new piece with your characters in dialogue only and just share it with your friends share it on your social media or put that dialogue aside to use later in another story or in the story that you're working on so that's your first one write a scene with dialogue only your second one and this is for you Scrabble players out there. My suggestion, and you can take this, you can do this in one of two ways. But my suggestion is write down the words that you create on your Scrabble board, okay? And there are two ways you can do this. You can either just write down the words that you create or write down the words that you and your fellow players create all over the board as you build the words. Write those down and then take those and use, the, use those in a short story, a poem, a vignette, an essay, a blog post, however you want to do it. Or you can use them, incorporate them into your current WIP. So if you're a Scrabble player like me, that's a, a challenge for you. Otherwise, take your scene and write it in dialogue. Those are your two challenges for this week. Next week, we'll be talking about removing the brick walls in your story. I know we've covered this before, right before NaNoWriMo started back in October when I talked about removing the brick walls in your story during Preptober. That was for the planning process. But no matter how far you are along in your writing, you're going to hit those brick walls. You're going to hit those brick walls in your story. Some people call it writer's block. I used to call it writer's block, but it may not be writer's block. It may be a wall that you've hit because you are trying to get your characters to do something they don't want to do. Your characters are trying to get you to, to tell you they're going to do something that you are a little uncomfortable about or your characters just aren't talking to you at that time. So we're going to be talking about that next week. And before I wrap this this second audio segment and the second video up, I do want to share a little bit of exciting behind the scenes news for you. Um, one of the characters that I thought was my killer in Hunt for the Scavenger Killer, which is the first book in the Hempstead series, well, she's not the killer. I discovered who my real killer was on Saturday night after reading Offbeat by Jen Lowry uh, through Audible. So sometimes reading, a, stepping away and reading a book, as you will know, can really be <laughs> an inspiration. And what's funny is yesterday I actually wrote one, one of the ending scenes and put it in a placeholder document so that I could use it later in my story. So I actually wrote that. And now I've just got to figure out how to get Katrina out of her situation and move to the next, um, and I'm in chapter 10, and then move to the next chapter uh, with Donald. So there we go. Now I've got to get myself unstuck again. So I want to give you guys a little bit of behind the scenes, tell you what's coming up, and... Again, thanks, Teresa, for telling us all about your podcast. You guys go check her out, and I will see you next week. Have a blessed day, and remember to get those words down because your story matters. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.